guess if I want a decent relationship, I'll have to stay home at some point. I don't know. I don't know. After 20 years of bad relationships, I'm starting to think I might be part of the problem. <laughs> nah. That's just the therapy talking. My ex told me I had intimacy issues, as if that's any of her business. <laughs> tough, I'm starting to date, as I get older, I have to date people who already had kids, which is a little, that's a tough one. You can't rush that. You can't meet those kids too early. And you know, I had this woman, it was like two dates, and she already said, hey, she had two little boys, and she went, I'm gonna take the kids to the carnival this weekend. You wanna go? I was like, wow. No. <laughs> Sounds awful. I mean, I'm not anti-kid, but you know, who am I to these kids? I'm just some guy. They don't know me. I can't discipline them if they're acting up at the carnival. They get down from there, you're gonna get hurt. You're not my dad. You know what, you're right. <laughs> Go ahead, stand up in the tilt-a-whirl. I wanna see how this goes. <laughs> kinda curious myself to see how this is gonna play out. dated all types, went out with a vegan, and uh, that was once, I think. <laughs> couldn't figure out what they could eat or not. I couldn't, as far as I could tell, a vegan could have like chickpeas and cotton. That was it. <laughs> could have some hummus and wash it down with a tube sock or something. <laughs> all my friends have kids and you feel left out at parties. You know, when they're always, everybody's got their phones out showing photos of their kids, you know. So if you feel left out at those points, just uh, do what I do and just show them photos of single person stuff that they can't do anymore. <laughs> and just go, ooh, look, this is me sleeping in on the weekend. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, this is me in my white carpet. Yeah. Was like, was like, ooh, this is my favorite one. This is me uh, leaving a bad relationship and still keeping my house. <laughs> <was> <laughs> Sweet equity, it grows so fast. <laughs> Key is to find someone with the same sense of humor as you. That's an important thing. And um, humor is an effective way to get yourselves out of uncomfortable situations. Case in point, this is a true story. And uh, there's times to use humor, when not to, and when you can, like say, airport security, bad time. <laughs> and meeting a date's parents for the first time, another bad time. Hence this story. <laughs> I went to this woman's house to pick her up. It's our first date, and she had just gotten a uh, divorce and had to move back in with her parents, which happens, I don't care, whatever. But uh, she's running late, and I meet her parents, and I have to sit in the living room with her parents watching TV, you know, like prom night. It's just really awkward and, you know, they were nice enough, but weird. And they're watching TV. There's a TV in the room, there's a movie on, and this is a romantic movie. A very romantic movie. And this uncomfortable scene comes up with two men. Yes, and it's very tense and weird in the room. Kind of like now. And I'm sitting there and no one knows what to say. It's just it's a weird vibe and it's just tense and weird. And I just thought to myself, what better time for a joke? <laughs> they didn't see it that way. Because <laughs> it's very weird, tense and awkward in the room. And these guys are on the TV and I just go, wow, that, uh, <laughs> that takes me back. <laughs> Not a good idea. I should probably start by telling you guys I'm 49. That's uh, pretty much the right response right there. It's just one girl going woo. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's not an impressive age. Uh, I'm not married. My friends are all married. One of them called me up the other day. He goes, hey man, you wanna hear something pathetic? I was like, yeah, sure. 
He goes, right now I'm sitting on the couch with my wife watching a movie on Lifetime for Women Television. I was like, that's pathetic. I'm watching the same movie. <laughs> my friend's wives try and set me up. We'll be at dinner. Greg, I've got it. You need to meet Karen. She's perfect. She might be, but women tend to exaggerate how perfect their friends are. I don't trust them. I have to check it out with my buddy. It's an awkward situation for him. He wants to give me information. He doesn't want to make her mad. It's the quickest head shake you'll ever see. You know, so I think I think. It's like an owl. So, hey, buddy, if you saw it, great. If you didn't, you're on your own. I'm not going down for you. Did you just give him some sort of signal about Karen? No, no, honey, I love Karen. Greg, you should marry Karen. <laughs> I found out yesterday I've been spelling the word separate wrong for about 30 years. That's, that's disappointing right there. That's probably cost me some opportunities along the way. There's probably a job application just sitting out there somewhere. We're gonna keep this one Sapir it from all the other applications. I get this question all the time. Greg, you're 49. Don't you want to have a family someday? Like, I'm worried it's too late. I'm worried if I start a family at my age, they're going to turn out like one of my high school term papers. Clearly, Mr. Warren, you waited until the last minute to throw this together. <laughs> Where's your wife? We are actually superior <laughs> I don't know if I want to have kids, you know. Uh, I've seen them. I'm not that impressed. I mean, my friends are like, Greg, when they're your kids, it's different. Yeah, I would imagine it's worse. <laughs> my friends' kids, like, they, they're getting older. My, my friends have, like, my buddy has a daughter. She's 23. He's really proud of her. He showed me a picture. He's like, hey, what do you think of that? I was like, I'm, I'm not sure you want to hear what I think of that. I mean. <laughs> What is this, a sting operation? You don't know what to say in that situation. Here's the best thing you can say. You say, wow, she's a real heartbreaker. Yeah. They like that, yeah, she's a heartbreaker. She'll break your heart, heartbreaker. <laughs> like it's a compliment. Like basically, what am I really saying? Your daughter is going to ruin some kid's life someday. Yep, yeah, that's how we raised her. She, she's a life ruiner. <laughs> her mother was a life ruiner. I, I can vouch for that. Her mother's mother ruined several lives, actually. I... One of my friends has a son that plays high school football, and I went to watch him play, and I was walking down to my seat, and I fell down the bleachers. All of them. I hit them all. <laughs> Aluminum is a loud metal. It, 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 it echoes. It sounded like five guys were falling. And... I'm a faller, I am, like I fall. I, I fell down the bleachers when I was in high school. When that happened, people were like, aha, look at Warren. This time people were like, I think that 49 year old guy might be dead. It got <laughs> quiet. The team started praying. <laughs> I feel bad for my mother though. I feel like she really, I think she, she you know, I've never been married and, uh, and I don't have any kids and she used to always, you know, I feel like she's given up hope on me getting married at all. Cause she used to always say, you know what Kendra, there's someone out there for everyone. And now she always says, you know what, Kendra? There's a lot of single mothers out there. She just wants me to have those babies. And I, <laughs> I, I, I like kids. I think kids are cute. I feel like they give me anxiety, though. I feel like they get to say whatever they want to me, and I can't say what I want in return, you know? Uh, I, I was out the other night, one of my friend's kids got on my lap and said in front of all the adults, she was like, ooh, you have coffee breath. And I wanted to be like, you're lucky I don't have whiskey breath. I'd be making out with your father right now. <laughs> but you can't say stuff like that to kids. You gotta keep it inside. I think my biggest problem with, 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 with kids is like the pregnancy part, you know? Because I feel like I'm bloated and uncomfortable on a good day. Uh, <laughs> never mind two, three years. How long does it take to have a baby? A long time. Uh, I feel like if I could just choose my gestation process, if I could lay some eggs, I'd be more apt to do that, you know? And then I could be like, hey, do me a favor, come over here and watch my eggs. I wanna go sashay around the neighborhood. 
see if I still got it. <laughs> I feel uh, like so it's good. Good you're out. It's, you know, it's a nice evening. There's some couples here. That's nice. Nothing more romantic than watching a stranger speak for an hour and not having to talk to each other. That's very, uh, that's very beautiful. Um, I, uh, I'm not married. Uh, I'm, I'm 44. I've never been married, never been engaged, don't have any kids. But I'm just as exhausted as fathers who've done that. Like, I'm all caught up with you. So I, I'm here, I'm out of money, I'm out of energy. I don't know if I'm gonna have any more kids. So I feel like one of you. I'm at the age, I'm at least supposed to be divorced by now, right? I'm at least supposed to have, right? have one under my belt, you know, just, just to show. People get weirded out, people get weirded out, you tell them, so I have to lie to make them feel better. I'm like, oh, I'm just kidding, I'm divorced with like four kids or something. And they're like, oh, that's much better, you know. <laughs> oh, we thought something was wrong with you. <laughs> now you can join our support group. Come on in, it's like, oh, okay, what's going on, so. Uh, being single and childless isn't a choice. I was born like this. It's just the natural, <laughs> you know, who am I to argue with, you know. Right? <laughs> it's just so natural, man, it's so natural. Uh, my mom wants me to get married. A lot of parents want their kids to get married and have kids. Grandkids are cute, but they want to see us suffer like we made them suffer, right? <laughs> that's really, that's really what... Your father and I did not work hard and sacrifice, young man, so you could just date different women and enjoy your life. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> You're gonna get married, have kids. Mom, what if I don't love her? Love has nothing to do with it. Your father and I stopped loving each other years ago. We're much happier now, so. <laughs> so ooh, that sounds good. Oh, man. So it's good. I, I, you know, I start dating someone. My mom wants to get married and have kids right away. She's like, come on, that girl doesn't put out. Come on, you gotta seal the deal with one of her friends. I'm like, mother, what is going on here? You know, this is ridiculous. So do you guys have moms? <laughs> oh, you one or two orphans in the middle? All right, nice. <laughs> So I tell girls that on a first date, I was like, we gotta get married right away and have kids. They're like, why? I'm like, my mom said, you know, here's a note. <laughs> so <laughs> we gotta do it. We gotta do it. It's nice. I, uh, so I travel, I pocket call my mom the other day. You know, your phone dials from inside your pocket. You don't know it. Uh, she's like, hey, did you mean to call me? And I said, no, I pocket called you. And she said, oh, well, your pocket's a better son than you are. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh my God, that's brutal. So. Ah, so it's good, you know, you're working on that relationship for life. At this point, I think she'd be happy if I were just gay. You know, she's like, give me something to work with over here. I need something to tell my friends, right? So I bring home other straight guys. I'm like, this is my lover, you know? And she gets excited, wants us to get married, works to legalize gay marriage. The day of the wedding comes, right? We have to come out of the closet to say we're straight. She freaks out. Our friends are like, I knew you straights, look at those clothes. You know, I was like, oh, this is all right. Doing my best, you know? My dad's like, oh, I dropped 30 grand on a wedding I'm never gonna see. I'm like, dad, I thought the bride's family paid for that. He's like, we thought you were the bride. Check <laughs> this out here. <laughs> 